Hi. Uh, uh, Hi, Ben. Uh, Hi, beautiful. Uh, yeah. Hi, Mama. Hi. How are you this morning? Are you ready to get up, Mamas? You ready? All right, let's get up. I'm back again with another video and a slightly different one clearly not a hair tutorial <laughs> I just wanted to kind of share some words of encouragement that have been on my heart lately um, you know I've been really trying to challenge myself with my faith endurance um, you know I am a Christian and I'm consider myself spiritual not necessarily overly religious but I you know I have a special relationship with God and you know I'm human my faith it dwindles a lot and I've been reading this devotional series through the Bible app um, called Overwhelmed by My Blessings. Now, this devotional is kind of catered towards moms. I am a new mom. I have a three month old little baby girl. Um, so it is kind of catered towards moms, but the lessons apply to anyone. And it has been such a blessing to me these last few weeks, just kind of just getting my mind back um, on the right track. You know, it's so easy to get overwhelmed to get sad, depressed, you know, with the world we're living in, number one, this this pandemic, oh boy, it just feels like we're living in like the Bible times, like the Lord and send a plague over to us, or like we're watching some crazy movie, like it's insane. So it's so hard to just keep going, right? Like how do we keep pushing ourselves? So I just kind of wanted to share a few things that have been on my mind while reading this devotional that has really just encouraged me and just really extended my faith endurance. So when you think of endurance, you think about like when you're running a race and you're at the very end and you're just so exhausting, you just gotta keep pushing. You just need that little bit of endurance just to fulfill the entire race, right? So the same applies with our faith, you know, especially those of us who grew up and you hear the cliche verses and the sayings and, you know, God is good, God got you, you know, you can't give you more than you can bear. You know, they just become words at some point. So when you really start to rewind it back, like, okay, let's think about this. How can we really apply this, really believe it, really feel it um, so that it really does help? And it's not just words that you repeat it every day because your mom and dad told you to. So what I got from this is, you know, as a reminder, when we experience challenges in our lives, it's a reminder to kind of come back to God. You know what I mean? It is his... Uh, way of saying like hey remember me you know I got you you know think sometimes you get in your little hamster wheel life your 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 spin cycle if you will you're just doing the same thing day after day maybe you forget to wake up and say thank you lord maybe something bad isn't happening in your life and you're just content and you forget to just still talk to him or maybe it's vice versa maybe things are going wrong and you're just talking to him talking to him talking to him and you just feel like nothing's happening he doesn't hear you this is when the faith endurance really comes into play. You have to really shift your mindset to another level. Um, I just had a baby, like I said, so some things I had to really practice those nine, 10 months that I was pregnant um, was to breathe slash meditate, uh, to recite some affirmations, and then just to list some things that I'm grateful for. That little formula right there, it helped me so much because I'm a big baby okay like I don't do well with pain I'm just not that person <laughs> so to be pregnant and about to give birth was one of the scariest things for me ever I was so nervous and then I found out that I had really large fibroids which were so painful and so you know my mind is racing you know how's my baby how's delivery gonna be you know all things go through your mind so I really had to start practicing meditating every day i would just breathe so the first thing i would encourage is just breathe don't think about anything literally just 
relax your shoulders, get the tension out. Just let your body go limp and just breathe. That moment of just taking in that breath, for one, just calms you down. Once you're in that, that calm state of mind, the next thing I would suggest, recite an affirmation, recite something positive. If you're really upset or in a bad mood and maybe you can't think of the best thing to say right now, just start with, I am okay. Just start with that and then start to build up the things. For me, during my pregnancy, I had to say, I am capable, I am strong. I am a woman. God made me for this. You know, like it, it sounded like I was about to go into battle, <laughs> but I literally had to take it to that level because I was that scared and that nervous. And I really, really wanted to challenge myself to shift my mindset. Your mind is a powerful tool. You can literally tell yourself anything. And if you believe it, you literally can't achieve it. I know cliche again, but it's so true. It is so true. So after you've taken that breath, you're nice and calm, your mind is clear. Now you recited something positive. I am okay, I can do this. Next, list a couple things you're grateful for. Lord, you know what? Thank you so much for this roof over my head, God. I remember when I didn't know when I was gonna pay my next bill and now I have a house. Thank you, God. Lord, thank you that I have gas in my car. These prices have been crazy, but I can still get from A and B. So thank you, Lord. Thank you. You know, start to just say those couple things here and there that really just kind of gets your mind back to being grounded. Not to say everything's going to be perfect or that that situation magically goes away now, but in that moment, you've now calmed yourself down. And you know, I've always heard that if you repeat something for 21 days straight, it can become a habit. So imagine doing this every day for 21 days straight. You will literally start to automatically go to this practice when something bad has happened and you release so much stress in your life and it just increases your faith because now you're thinking positively, it's okay, I'm gonna be good. You know what I mean? Like with my pregnancy story and reciting those things, I was so, so scared that when the time came and my water broke, I was definitely nervous, but the first thing that I went to is I started breathing. I was just like, oh, okay, I just cleared my mind and I yelled, babe, it's time. <laughs> the water broke. I was, I was good. I think for the most part, like I wasn't panicking. Like I thought I would. That is me by nature. I'm very like, oh my gosh, over the top dramatic. Like that's just me. But in that moment, I just breathed got my husband we got in the car and we went to the hospital and honestly y'all i had no pain i think i was at about five or six centimeters dilated when i arrived and i didn't even feel a contraction or cramp nothing till about seven centimeters and then they ended up giving me the epidural just so i could get some rest so i literally barely felt anything and then i was pushing within the next couple hours so i just I just cried. I could not stop crying like, Lord, you knew how scared I was. You knew I don't do well with pain. And this was like way better than I could have ever expected. And I was just so grateful for those practices because I don't think I could have made it through without it. I really think I would have been in my head. I think I would have immediately started thinking everything negative, like, oh my gosh, there's fibroids. She's not going to come out okay. My blood pressure is going to rise. Like everything could have started going through my mind. But because I had been practicing breathing, reciting those positive words, saying thank you, Lord, for the things I do have, that is how my mind is constantly starting to think. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a human, so I definitely still have my days <laughs> where it's hard not to do that. But I will say that that mood, that, that sadness, you know, I don't sit in it as long as I used to. And that is the bi biggest blessing of all. And that is the biggest thing I have to constantly tell myself. Uh, you know, being a new mom is scary. You know, I'm working from home with her. How do I juggle doing my work and, you know, handling this crying baby? It's a lot. And there's times where I just want to cry and be like, forget it, you know, whatever. But I really just reel it back in. I just take those breaths. I look in that beautiful baby girl's face and I just say, thank you, Lord. You know what I mean? I've wanted this for so, so long. So Anyways, I'm rambling, but I just wanted to encourage you guys, you know, it's so easy to get discouraged. It's so easy to be sad. And, you know, it's life. It's going to happen. Uh, but I just want to encourage a new practice. 
Try to breathe. Try to recite an affirmation, something positive. Say something you're grateful for. Just say thank you, Lord, for X, Y, and Z. Keep doing this. I encourage you to do it for 21 days to make it a habit. And you will see. You will see a lot of stress will be relieved from your life. I, you know, what can it hurt? Just try it. it. Takes five seconds. Just try it. All right, guys, that's it for today. I just wanted to share that. Let me know if you have any questions, comments. Uh, I don't know what you would ask me, but yeah, if you just want to comment about what I've said or, you know, have any suggestions for any other videos or words of advice or even hair tutorials that you would like to see, let me know. Drop it down below and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.